is for people who would like to buy a new Mac and the goal of this video is to help you feel reassured about your decision whether you need to buy it or not. And how can I achieve that? Well, by being completely honest with my opinions to what the M1 Max MacBook Pro in this entire review. So let us go and check out the two-year-old machine that I bought, the M1 Max MacBook Pro. Yes, the M1 Max MacBook Pro came out nearly two years ago. And with the introduction of the M2 Max beginning of this year, the upcoming M3 lineup, you might be questioning me, like, why are you buying a two-year-old machine? Well, let me just give you a short answer and we will go over the reason why I bought the M1 Max. The short answer to that question is that the Apple Silicon brought about amazing performance to the machine that you can buy right now and use for very minimal risk. What do I mean by risk? Well, basically, before, when you buy an older machine, you are at risk of something even better coming out, and then you might regret your decision later on. But I believe that with these Apple Silicon, the M1, the M2, the M1 Pro, the M1 Max, if you buy it, you're going to be happy with it. And that was what I did. Oh, and a bit of a side note to understand better what I will do with this laptop is that I am a videographer or cinematographer, a photographer, graphic designer, and I also have different startups that I mainly organize with my laptop. As a hobby, I also am learning about 3D modeling. I am doing small projects, but I want to get into that even more. So I need a machine that can accommodate all of the things that I want and possibly accommodate me for years and not just one or two years and then it's slowing down and I have to change again. Anyway, back to the video. So basically I have dropped a huge bag on the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. And a short summary, using this laptop for the past four to seven days is described as such. I am flabbergasted, super happy, ecstatic, and also very grateful for the decision that I made. But the long story is this. I was heavily stuck with two decisions the M1 Max or the M2 Max. And to keep it sweet and simple, I hope that you guys can learn from this because after being stuck for weeks, I found my deciding factors and they are prioritized as follows. The values it offers, the price tag, and the combination between both above. And when it comes to price, oh my God, Apple does have some incredible deal with the M1 lineup and we'll get over the pricing in a little bit. So before I continue my story, I believe these three points are what you need to make the right decision for buying tech these days. Because sometimes we might overcomplicate things and make it difficult for ourselves by including factors that might not matter at all. And that was what I did. But then I went back to the drawing board, list down what are important to me. And those three personally are the most important factors for me when buying a laptop. So firstly, let's start with the values. Based on my extensive research, watching countless videos on the M1 Max and the M2 Max comparison, both of them offer similar values. But you know what they all had in common? They are referred to as being too powerful for most people. Yes, and even the M1 Max, in 2023, a lot of people still refer to the machine as a powerful machine that you probably do not need unless you do something super intensive. And hearing that, I questioned my purpose for using the machine. And I came to a realization that I probably will not use the M2 Max to its fullest potential every time. Secondly, the jump from the M1 Max to the M2 Max was not that impressive in my opinion. I mean, it will add up and it will be useful over time, but and there's a big but, the price. The price gap is just too big and we'll go over that in just a little bit. And the final point in terms of the value it offers is the option that I have that I can buy with my money and I will show it to you on screen and you decide which is better. So yeah, all of that are facts and opinions that I have regarding the values that the M1 Max and the M2 Max offer. And earlier, I talked about price tag. And obviously, if I go with the M2 Max, the performance is going to be better, but the price, man, it, it's just very expensive. Coming in with a price tag of $3,500 with the spec that it offers, and the price is sold in my country. Whereas the M1 Max, on the other hand, with 64 gig of RAM, four terabyte of storage, offer a much lower amount for what I have to pay for. And remember guys, this is a discounted price. The original price would have been like 4K when it first came out. So the fact that all of those specs cost about $2,700 or $800, 
that is a steal and I would be foolish to go for the other options. And so with the price listed, I went to my formula earlier, which is price plus value. And I was sold on the M1 Max, not the M2 Max, because I would imagine that if I were to buy the M2 Max, I would have to spend money on external SSD, since one terabyte will not be enough for my workflow. Granted, I have three terabyte worth of external SSD, different one, the Samsung one, the SanDisk one, and it's, it accumulates to about three terabyte and it's not enough. So with one terabyte on my laptop, it's definitely not going to be enough and I probably will have to buy another one. So having four terabyte of storage, internal SSD, is actually benefiting me in the long run. So with all of that reasoning in mind, I made my bet and it seems like I won the bet. The M1 Max is a win guys and I meant it with all my heart. And I would imagine if I went for the M2 Max, I would have regretted it since I would have to spend additional money on the storage and that makes it even more than 3.5k. So to summarize the entire thing, I wanted to upgrade for my previous 2020 M1 Max and I bought the upgrade. So what's the moral of the story? Well, be considerate with your money, especially in nowadays economy. The technological leap that you see from the to Intel to the M1 is not there anymore. From this point onward, for a while, it will just be incremental improvement from one generation to another. So I believe you don't need the latest to be the greatest. And actually, there are a lot more things that I want to talk about regarding this situation. But leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your opinions toward the M1 Max, the M2 Max, or if you're, you want to wait for the M3 a Pro lineup, which will be a long time in my opinion. And if you need it now, just buy it now. Don't wait you know, until it comes out because by then you'll waste so much of your time using an, old, an older machine. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to drop a like and say subscribe. With that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.